Case Blue, or Far Blau, was the name of the German offensive in summer 1942, which led to the encirclement of the German 6th Army in Stalingrad and a failed push to take the Soviet oil fields in the Caucasus region. In this video we will take a short look at the comparison of the combat effectiveness of German divisions in 1941 and 1942. I am not really happy with the title role to Stalingrad here, but the content is related to the disaster at Stalingrad in two ways. First off, we get a general idea about the capabilities of the German army in 1942 and second, the data gives a clear indication that calling Stalingrad a turning point in the war is more of a superficial statement that ignores the tremendous losses the German army suffered during Operation Barbarossa and the Soviet counterattack in winter 1941-1942. Just to give you some numbers here. The general staff of the German army assumed that around May 1942 the army was short of 600,025 men, although in June 1942 this number was according to the organization department of the general staff 740,000 men. In terms of equipment the situation wasn't much better. In March 1942 there was a lack of 36,500 trucks and 44,000 motorcycles. For tanks the numbers were similar, in March 1942 the army was short almost 2100 tanks. For comparison in 1941 the German army attacked with about 3650 tanks and assault guns. Yet these numbers are just a glimpse at the details. But let's take a look at the assessment of the organization department of the general staff of the army, which determined the combat effectiveness of the German divisions in summer 1941 prior to Barbarossa and in the end of March 1942 during the planning of Case Blue. Now this is not a perfect comparison, since the data for 1941 is immediately prior to the operation, whereas the data for 1942 is a bit less than 3 months before the operation. But I think to give a clear indication on the overall combat effectiveness of the army in 1941 and 1942. There were 5 categories that were slightly differently phrased in both years, but in overall equivalent or similar, and they were as follows. Suited for all operations, suited for offensive operations after rest, suited for limited offensive operation, fully suited for defense, and suited for limited defensive operations. For summer 1941 we have the following numbers. 136 fully suited divisions, 8 almost fully suited, 19 partially suited divisions, 22 that were only suited for defense, and 24 that were only suited to a certain degree of defensive operations, for a total of 209 divisions. Now in March 1942 the numbers are a bit different, only 8 divisions received the highest rating, 3 in the second category, 47 that were capable of performing limited offensive operations, yet the majority was categorized only suited for the defense, with 73 divisions, and finally 29 divisions that could only be used for limited defensive operations. This gives a total of 106 division plus 2 occupation divisions. As you can see, the German army went from an army that had a majority of its division suited for all operations to an army that was mainly suited for defensive operations, according to their own assessment. Of course, several divisions could be reinforced till summer 1942, but still the difference is staggering. Now the question arises, how could the German army with these numbers still achieve the initial successes of Case Blue? Well, there are several reasons for this. I will name a few, but in no particular order. First, the use of non-German troops allowed the concentration of the best German units for offensive operations. Second, a vast amount of reinforcements was diverted to Heeresgruppe Süd, Army Group South, that performed Case Blue. For instance, Panzer divisions in the Heeresgruppe Süd had usually three tank battalions, whereas the Panzer divisions of the other army groups usually had only one tank battalion at that time. Third, the majority of the Luftwaffe supported Army Group South during Case Blue and achieved air superiority. Fourth, the quality of troops of the Wehrmacht was still at a high rate. This was further amplified by the fact that the Soviet command made various wrong assessments. To quote the military historian Glantz about the failed Soviet offensive operations in May 1942, these disasters were clear of Stavka's own making, for even after nearly a year of intense combat it failed to comprehend either its own capabilities or those of the Wehrmacht. And these failed operations are point number five. Sixth, the Soviets suspected an attack against Moscow or at least in the area of Army Group Center. Thus, Case Blue achieved the element of surprise. Seventh, although the territorial gains were substantial, the goal of elimination and a large amount of enemy troops was not achieved. But more on this when we take a closer look at Case Blue in another video. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, commenting, liking or even donating. 
Furthermore, recently the German YouTuber Sheriff did an interview with me. So if you understand German, you might want to check it out. And he also has an English channel called Sheriff's Shimshack, where he focuses on flight sims. And I think it's definitely worth a look. Anyway, enjoy and see you next time.